I am Jared Joyle. This is Minecraft Custom Map The Challenge, made by Dangerous, I think. I hope I'm not like confusing maps with something I've recently played, but Um If it's not made by Dangerous, I'm sorry for giving you credit and failing to give the other person credit. So anyway. We are still stuck in the jungle room. We cracked the code somewhere over here. So the lights turned on. Remember that little riddle is like crack the code um right for the light or something like that, I don't even know. And then we found this beautiful sign over here saying Doesn't it look like he's hiding something? So we've been hunting around for what he might be hiding. Because hopefully it's the exit. Because I'm stuck in this room. Like, I completed the puzzle, now I'm stuck. I have no idea what he might possibly be hiding. What's in this little hole right here? Anything good? Anything useful? Um... Nope. Doesn't it look like he's hiding something? Um, no, it doesn't look like he's hiding something. Maybe there's like a dispenser or something that I missed in this water flow. I am not finding anything. Okay, so we're just gonna keep wandering around, I guess, because I can't find anything else currently. Um, I'm just strolling around the perimeters. The only strange thing we found to date was this iron door. But that seems to be, like, the entrance to this room. I don't think there's any way of opening it. So yeah, that's no luck to us. Ah, maybe I can parkour on top of that tree. Oh no. Um sorry about that, I just got a random like Java update notification. It scared me. I cracked the code, what more do you want from me? You want gold, silver, bronze and rose. And we did that. The lights worked, I got the little pretty music. What is he hiding? What could I be missing? The help book, as we've attempted to search through, is useless for me. Oh my gosh, how did I miss that? I'm just... Oh my gosh, like really. I'm disappointed in myself. There's like a giant hole in the wall. And I totally missed it. So, yay that I found it. <laughs> Painstakingly long time to find it, but... Yay. And even marked it with cobblestone. Oh look, convenient cobblestone path that I didn't even notice. Oh boy, this is going to be a long game. Okay. Woo, what's that? Um... We got an unlit torch, not sure why. So we're just gonna walk through. What do we have here? Light off on, okay. Above, beneath, right, left, in front, behind, up, down. Oh my. Whoa. Are there any paintings to follow? Oh, that looks cool. Like lava inside the wall. That's awesome. That's an awesome design. I'm gonna have to. What's that button do? Can I hit it? Can I hit the button? Nope. Okay, so. 
above the knee. Okay, so light. Oh, I just got. Okay, turned on the lights. Seemingly obvious. On. Okay. Oh, if I turn my head upside down, it's a picture of a guy in a boat with clouds and a tree. You see that? So there's a guy, and he's in a boat floating in water. There's a tree off to the side, and there are some clouds in the sky. So, above, beneath. Water is beneath. Um, right, left. It's to the right. In front, behind. The sky is always behind the arc. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Well, I didn't even touch the last one. Up, down. Okay. Um, what if I hit down? Um, I did it. Oh, and then the fire kind of like burned that button over there. Cool. So, victory is mine. And I stopped from getting shot. That's lovely. Freedom. Freedom. That freedom sound will shine my way. Oh, frick. Oh, no. Oh, I would have seen that if I had been more careful. No luck anymore. I'm stuck. Oh, darn. Okay. So I guess I'm just in a little tunnel, I guess. Got some wither skeleton skulls, got some zombies, and some skeletons. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of I'm kinda of scared. Not sure what to expect. We got a too high ceiling. I never like too high ceilings. Very dark. Got some bats flying around. This is kind of creepy. I'm. Okay. We got a ladder going straight up. It's always a great idea to dig straight up and down. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do this. We got this. No pressure. Okay. Okay. What is this? Okay. Got a lot of cobblestone walls. What's gonna happen here? Rest in peace. Am I going to bury myself alive? What's this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is all this about? Rest in peace, and I bury myself alive. That's not cool. Bro. Bro, you, you want me to bury myself? What's up with that? Tell me. What? Why am I? Oh my gosh. Why am I doing this? Rest in peace. Oh, you sneaky little person. You, you sneaky little person. <clears throat> you have earned it. Your journey has finally come to an end. But you have been strong, and so you will be. Rewarded. The final steps lies before you. Improper English, good job. It's always nice to end a brilliant adventure map with some improper English. This looks like the exact same setup from the hidden stairs that I just played. Just like iron brick or iron block walls, whatever. Life. Freedom. Happiness. Harmony. And there's no sheep. Okay. Home sweet home. Why is there trip player in my house? Is that a like light switch? Imaginary little decoration light switch? Blocks. 
Laughing man and credits. I'm kind of worried. Okay, blocks. Here we go. Credits. The challenge. Creator of everything in this map and the creative director of it as well. Dangerous. Special thanks to the guy who designed the 3x3 door and the guy who designed the elevator. They were made through YouTube guides. Thank you for playing this map. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Laughing Man. Congratulations! Uh, okay, that's a bit loud. Um, congratulations! As you read this, it means you have completed the challenge. You have already received your reward, Freedom. This house is now yours until the next explorer finds the way to this lovely place. Then you are no longer allowed to stay. I hope you obey this rule. Before we part, I would like to tell you a story of- Oh my gosh, that's so loud music. I'm sorry, I can't even like, hear myself think. Um, I would like to tell you a story of great wisdom. Once upon a time, there was a great castle. The castle had many, many rooms, and all were plenty. One day, a young man woke up in a plentiful room. This man was confused. How had he come to this place? The man started to explore the castle, room after room. As you know by this point, there was plenty to see. As the man searched through the castle for clues to where he could be, he stumbled across himself. The man looked at him and poked him in the stomach. As the finger reached his other self's stomach, he felt how he was suddenly drawn backwards. Once again, the man woke up, this time in the same room as he had woken up the first time. The man remembered how he had poked his, uh, how he had poked his other self in the stomach and laughed. He found it very amusing. The laughter lasted for hours, if not days, and when it finally stopped, the man was still smiling. How could someone be so happy for so long? Still trapped in the castle, the man decided to go home. He knew exactly where to go, even though he had no idea where to go. Five minutes and a quarter of something later, the man stood on his own doorstep, still with a plentiful smile upon his lips. This man had been the man's best day. This had been the man's best day ever, and as you probably have understood by now, this man isn't you, and this story contains great wisdom for those who don't look. In order to find something, it has to exist. In order to lose something, you must have had it in your possession. In order to do the right thing, you must know what is wrong. Is time relative to where we are? If so, if someone ask you what time it is and you answer him, do you lie? Does it matter if you lie? Does it matter if you do the right thing? Constantly we chase things that we can't catch. We chase happiness. But how does happiness look? How will you find it if you don't know what it is? And if you can't find it, does it then exist? It isn't the goal that it is. It isn't the goal that is what fills us with happiness. It is the search, the adventure, the excitement, the happiness comes from overcoming the hurdles on the way. The happiness comes from the challenge. And of that, there are plenty. And so, the man knew. And so, he laughed. The end. I don't even know what to say. This was a very magnificent map. Is that a giant duck over there? Looks like a giant duck. But I mean, like, I don't know. It's, it's just such a moving map. Like, you just... It's so well produced. You want to make something of it. You want to, like do something with your life after you play this map. And those are the stupid little hot air balloons that I forgot to count. <laughs> so yeah.
this that's all I have to say. This is a very amazing challenge. The challenge, in fact. And so... Ah, uh, hold on. I'm gonna make a motivational speech, but there's something I must do first. And so, with light gray wool in our hands, as we stare upon this duck, we see that life is but only what is worth the challenge thank you all for watching thank you for surviving through my stupidity and enjoying my intelligence thank you for being there when I needed you least and now Without further ado, I leave you in peace. Enjoy what's left of your life. And I hope to see you back with me very soon. Goodbye.